Melinda Dower, I thought, Pitsy Bran, Melinda Dower, like, uh, uh, Clifford, how did you first become interested in water wheels? Well, originally, uh, living in the parish of Blisland, and my father used to work in the mill that was owned by the Keat family. And the Keat family had owned that mill, I think it was for three generations. And uh, father used to work there um, in the late 30s. And he used to take me quite regularly down to the mill to see the equipment. And I was actually allowed to stand very close to all the working parts of the mill. And uh, at that time, I would, been, I would have been about... Uh, I would have been about five years old, and I took a great interest in water mills from that very date. Uh, I people of the automata and the how old were you then, uh, Clifford? Don't uh, you give any secrets away as to your age? I would have been about five years old when I started to visit that mill. Mm. And your interest in water wheels and water mills has lasted ever since. Uh, ever since then, yeah. you see, there's such a variation of types of water wheels that. There's no ending to it. Um, in in the particular area that we're talking about, the Blislin area, it was almost a mecca for water wheels. Mm. You had a, a variation in one valley of five different water wheels in the distance of about three and a half to four miles, mm. doing various work from corn mills mm. to generating electricity um, to pumping water and clay slurry. Okay. Uh, pumping clay, so of course there were, when one thinks of Cornwall, like my mural alarm on me, you sure there's plenty of rain in Cornwall to provide water for water mills, and it's a natural source of energy, wasn't it? Be very much so, a, a source of energy that we should uh, still recognise as a very marvellous source of energy. Now, I can now on the rugby award and boards, my schoolson on on that. There's in front of me, uh, Clifford, is a picture, a very impressive looking water wheel, uh, our Listeners can't see it, of course, so perhaps you could tell us what this is. Yes, this, in actual fact, was the king of water wheels. I think that everyone that knows very much about water wheels would, would agree with me that this water wheel, the Gorn's wheel, that's a well-known water wheel in Cornwall, and the unique thing about it is that this was the biggest water wheel on the British mainland. And was it built in Cornwall? No, it was built in Wrexham by the Powell brothers. Mm. And it was taken from Wrexham, and I can't tell you when, but it was very early on. It was before 1920. And it was taken to the Isle of Man to pump water uh, in the Lexi lead mine. Mm -hmm. And um, then they used some other equipment out there. And this wheel became uh, on the market for sale. And a Mr. Parkin that owned the clay works at Blislin he heard about it, and he went out with Mr. Knight, uh, his engineer, mm -hmm. and they bought the wheel and had it dismantled, and it was brought back to Padstow by boat, oh, yeah. and yeah. In, all in pieces, of course, mm -hmm. and then uh, transported by train up to Tresarat, and from Tresarat it was brought in pieces up to the Gorn site. Mm -hmm. Now, in those days, when it was built on the Gorn site, um, that's uh, in, a, in a little wood uh, just down below Paul Pry, mm -hmm. uh, in the corner of the wood. Uh, Paul Pry, that's of course a good corner, so that means the clay pit actually, Paul Pry, or Paul Pry, yes. we say, yes. Go well, on, but... One of Mr. Parkins' uh, clay pits was mm -hmm. right near Paul Pry, mm -hmm. uh, Carwen clay pit. Mm 